Good morning, YouTube. Today we are going to replace the catch for the door on the cargo camper trailer conversion. This trailer came with the style of catch that had a ball and socket that would stick in there and the friction from this rubber seal would hold this door open. The problem was that this didn't work. I had it for a few months. Wind would blow the door closed and that's gonna get you hurt. So I rebuilt this door in a prior video and the link will be above in the right hand corner. And I put a aluminum plate that I made over the hole to replace this catch. So instead of using that kind of catch, I'm gonna use this kind of catch. Now there's a stud here because I know there are screws right here. And so I'm gonna put this on the stud. So I'm gonna install this kind of latch. This kind of latch is more positive locking. It's got T on this that engages with that and that's a solid lock there. So what has to happen is you can put that here and this on the door or vice versa either way. And this is a stud here and so this is going to have to be screwed into the stud. Now one thing I do notice is that this plate is wide and this stud is narrow. So we're going to have to do something to reinforce because I know this is a Z channel stud and it's only like three quarters of an inch wide. So we're probably gonna have to make another plate, screw it to the studs and then screw this to the plate, All right? I'll probably wind up installing it down here and then when it's not in use, it'll just hang like that. When I wanna use it, I'll pull it up and we'll have a spot over here on the door that will engage with it when the door is open. So if I mount this on that frame and I mount this on the door, you can see this is not gonna be parallel. So I'm probably going to have to bend this or bend this to accept that angle, all right? That angle is a problem. So we gotta figure that out, all right? Probably wind up bending this. My first step was to make the aluminum plate that I was going to screw to the frame. I didn't have some aluminum that was wide enough or big enough to make this, but I had some aluminum angle. And I thought that if I cut it and flattened it out, it would be large enough to make the plate that I need. So I marked the width of the aluminum plate and cut it out using a hacksaw and a bench vise. Then I begin the process of flattening the aluminum angle out using a hammer and the vise. I wanted to take my time with this. I didn't want to over stress the aluminum and crack it or break it. Next, I began drilling two holes right down the middle so that these would be the two holes that would be screwed into the frame. Once I had the plate shaped and the holes drilled, I went outside and drilled holes into the frame to screw the screws straight through the plate into the frame. I used some sealer on the other side of the plate 
and also on each screw. Then I put some sealer on the outside of the plate to seal to the catch. It became time to bend the catch to align with the door. And it took several times to get it bent to the right angle. I didn't want to bend it too far to damage it beyond use. After I got the correct angle, it was time to screw on the catch through the aluminum plate. Again, I used sealer in all the screws. I really had to work on the first three screws, but this fourth screw went in very, very easy and turned too far and stripped out. So I had to resort to an old school method of fixing a stripped out sheet metal screw. And that is by using a paper clip to fill in part of the hole. And you carefully tighten the screw in with the paper clip in the hole and it will tighten up, but you can't over tighten it. Then I made some marks on the door where the other part of the catch will go. I applied some more sealant underneath this part of the catch and began screwing in the four screws. And again, you'll see a screw that stripped out and I used the paper clip method again to tighten the screw up. This time it was on the top left screw. All right, YouTube looks good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you soon.